Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Wabasha and welcome to the squad. So today we are out and about with the new Huawei Y7 2019 and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some photography tips with the help of Victor who is currently behind the camera. That is he. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to go through the features that the phone has as we give you guys a few tips for photography. Okay, so when you go to the camera, the phone has um, these options right here. So we're mainly going to focus on the pro version, I mean the pro setting, because here is where we can be able to handle the camera like a DSLR, basically, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So um, these are the settings we're going to go through as we show you guys how to manipulate them to get the best pictures. So the Huawei Y7 2019 is a budget phone. It goes for about 17,999. I'll put the link to order down below in the description bar if you're interested. So first off, we're going to start explaining ISO. So Victor will tell us what ISO is. Hi, uh, so ISO is, well, it's, it's just a measure of the intensity of light that is on the photo. So it's how, it's a range of how bright or how dark the photo can be. If you're shooting somewhere where it's dark, it's, high, it's better to have a higher ISO number. If you're shooting somewhere where it's bright, it's better to have a lower ISO number. But never go lower than like, I don't know, 100 or 200. And uh, I don't like exceeding ISO because it, it makes the photo noisy. That's like mom chele chele when you're taking your photo. So yeah. That's the one with the S. So shutter speed is how fast the shutter opens and closes. Shutter is like, you know that Camacho you have on your camera when it does this. So the iris closes and opens. So it's how fast it does that action. So that action is called a shutter speed. And the slower the shutter speed, the brighter your photo will be because it lets in more light. Um, the faster it is, the darker your photo will be but shutter speed is not essentially for light mostly it's to capture action so if um, we were taking a photo of Wabosha jumping on a trampoline we would have to have a higher shutter speed so we capture that movement as she is doing it but if if it's if she's posed for a long time and she can hold that pose we can do with a lighter with a with a slow with a slower shutter speed <laughs> yeah. So you can use it also on like kids and stuff. Yeah, so when kids are doing or rather because kids move a lot and you can't get them to pose. So when you want to get their action at that moment, you use a, a smaller shutter speed or a shorter shutter speed mm -hmm. which has the largest value. So if it's 1 over 2500, that is faster than 1 over 80. So next we're going to be talking about the focus and this phone supports three different types of focus modes when it's on the pro mode. So there is autofocus S, autofocus C, yeah, mm -hmm. and manual focus. Mm -hmm. So Which is MF. Yeah, MF. Stands for manual focus. <laughs> AF also stands for autofocus. Yes. Not other things. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, AF. It's autofocus, simple, very simple. AFC is for a continuous shot. That's like um, if you're taking photos that, like continuous photos, like chick, 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 you get. But uh, if you're taking a single shot, that is AFS, autofocus single shot, and someone is posing, then you can just put AFS. But if it's a moving shot, the one that we used, um, a lower shutter speed number you use AFC and then manual focus you're just the one who decides where the camera focuses on hey, focuses. <laughs> <laughs> then the manual focus is where you him to say my Huawei Y7 and I say my Huawei Y7 I even thought she'd gone for Chinese New Year <laughs> so yeah manual focus you choose where it focuses on and it's really good if you want to blur the background like we're gonna show you so if uh, you're taking 
a picture of something really close to you or someone who's close to you and you want to blur the background manual focus is very good with the Huawei Y7 2019 see I said it nicely so yeah. you, so you should see it <laughs> the shade <laughs> the actual shade <laughs> So next up we're going to be talking about the white balance and white balance basically just um, gives you different options of lighting for your picture. So like for example if the surrounding is cloudy or you have too much sunlight mm -hmm. or even for like the bulbs at home. But then the one that we're going to demonstrate today is the last option on the phone where you can basically just control um, the coolness and the warmth of your lighting. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so outside of the pro mode, we have a few other features that we can brush through. And first off, we have panorama. I feel like everybody has seen panorama, but you can still talk about it in case there's someone who doesn't know about the feature. Oh well, yeah, uh, panorama just gives you gives you a nice, is it 180 feel of the video. Like you can can take a well, not this one. <laughs> Like, but you have to go really slowly so you capture whatever you're capturing. If, if I wanted to show someone how my house looks, the best way I would take that photo was using panorama because I can just go and do a circle, I think I can do 360, then just show them the layout of the house. Then they'll have to zoom in and check it out. There's another feature on the phone that's HDR. HDR is high dynamic range and that's... Um, it makes the photos a bit sharper, uh, a bit more, just comes into life. The, the shadows and the highlights come well together to create a texture on the photo. You can actually feel, if it's a window that was meant to shine, you'd feel like a near this window is shining. It shines. Yeah. So another cool feature that we also just found out about today is AR Lens. So it just has like um, an example I can give of what it is, it's the Instagram filters but it works without the bundles yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it has two different options effects and background so effects is just you know like the glasses on your eyes and you can do it like two people we've just tested mm -hmm. it out and you can also do it to the back camera and for background it literally just changes the entire background so I think this can be really fun to play with especially if you have kids like the background options because the options that are there are very cartoon like Okay guys, that is it for this week's video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Big shout out and thank you to Victor for joining us on today's video. I will link his social media down below. Yeah. Go stalk him. Feel free to ask <laughs> any questions in yeah. there regarding life. Uh, <laughs> oh, so not only for photography. Yeah, man, like I'm, I'm wiser than that. <laughs> So don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. And don't forget to work hard and stay positive. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. And don't forget to work hard and have good intentions. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I got it. Fine. Bye.